There's new information on the UCLA student who was photographed in former Vice President Mike Pence's chair during the Capitol insurrection and the federal charges that he is now facing tonight. Investigators say 22-year-old Kristen Secor bragged that he would not get caught. But several tipsters helped the FBI find him at his home in Costa Mesa. Tonight, KCAL 9's Lori Perez learned more about the hate-filled messages that he shared around the UCLA campus and the beliefs that drove him to the U.S. Capitol. Long before federal prosecutors ID'd 22-year-old UCLA student Christian Secor as the person seen sitting in the vice president's chair during the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, some of his fellow students say they had identified him as a threat. I was worried that he could be a school shooter. More than a year ago, Matthew Richard, a UCLA student activist, started tracking Secor, who founded an ultra-right campus group called America First Bruins. In the video from January 6th, an FBI affidavit says he's seen on the floor of the Senate carrying a large blue America First flag. In March 2020, Richard made this Twitter thread, linking to what he says were Secor's hateful social media comments toward immigrants and black, brown, and Jewish students. Can ICE just cough on illegals or something? All I have to say is go back to Korea. Anyone else cop the Hitler sneakers? Referring to sneakers some thought looked like Hitler. He had tweeted really intensive, like, uh, proclamations of his Nazism and fascism. And he had photos on his account and on the Bruin Republicans account of him at a gun range. Bruin Republicans told the college newspaper it banned Secor from the club. Tuesday, a SWAT team and FBI agents swarmed the Costa Mesa townhouse where Secor lives with his family. Federal prosecutors have charged him with assaulting or resisting a police officer, violent entry and remaining on restricted grounds, civil disorder and obstructing an official proceeding. Richard says he is relieved. There is like a sense of like Yes, I was correct in like kind of painting this person as a uh, danger, but also I am glad that this didn't result in like violence against students or additional violence against like marginalized communities. A UCLA spokesman did not provide details about Secor, but said in a statement, UCLA believes the January 6th attack at the Capitol was an attack on our democracy. As an institution, UCLA is committed to mutual respect, making decisions based on evidence and using rational debate and not physical violence. Richard says he does not want Secor back on campus ever, and he does not think he should reap the benefits of a UCLA degree. At UCLA, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News. More developing news on this.